The Redline 360C is the most capable radar detector in Escort's lineup, and Escort sent us the one in this video to test out around Detroit. And if you're considering an Escort radar detector, the question is whether or not it's the right unit for you based on where you most often drive. And in this video, will help you try and answer that. As an ambassador for Escort Radar and as an Amazon associate, Automoblog earns from qualifying purchases, but those commissions come to us at no additional cost to you. Links from which we may earn a commission are marked as paid in the description. Think of the Redline 360C as the bigger, stronger, older brother in Escort's family. The Redline's triple antenna design, low noise amplifiers, black fin digital signal processing chip, or DSP for short, and the Drive Smarter app give us excellent range detection, superior false alert filtering, and greater situational awareness. We can take full advantage of these features here in the Detroit Metro. For example, the triple antenna platform, two in the front, one in the rear, and the low noise amplifiers give us maximum detection range when we are on I-96 or Woodward Avenue. The low noise amplifiers and the triple antenna design also serve us well on I-94 when we go to Ann Arbor. And that's where we can really utilize the highway sensitivity mode. In highway sensitivity, X, K, and KA bands go to their fullest sensitivity to give us the most reaction time when we're out there on the open road on I-94. Meanwhile, the Blackfin DSP chip keeps false alerts from things like digital signage to an absolute minimum. And we really appreciate the Blackfin DSP when we're downtown in the Motor City for the same reason, that it just does a wonderful job with false alert filtering. A secondary IVT filter or intelligent vehicle technology filter reduces false alerts from the radar-based safety systems of other vehicles like blind spot monitoring or adaptive cruise control. These systems can sometimes cause a false K-band punch through. It's a topic that has been discussed before on the radar detector forum and certain vehicles are more likely than others to cause this. Fortunately for us, we've had good luck and very few of these types of K-band punch throughs proof that Escort has really dialed in the performance of its IVT filter. The Drive Smarter app sends real-time notifications to our phone, be it a radar source, red light camera, speed camera, or police patrol as reported by other Escort owners on the app. Likewise, we can issue an alert for others through the app when we notice something like a speed trap or a patrol car, and we can adjust a host of settings for our Redline 360C from our phone. Drive Smarter is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and has Mapbox navigation built in, a feature we have used far more than we anticipated. On your vehicle's touchscreen, you will see all of the standard Apple CarPlay or Android Auto features alongside any real-time threat notifications from Drive Smarter. Here you can see us getting on I-94 to Ann Arbor. Our red line is connected to Drive Smarter, projected onto our infotainment screen through Android Auto. Mapbox is sending us to the address we entered into the app. Just as it would be on our phone, we can receive and issue alerts for other Escort users. Here we are marking a road hazard and a patrol car. Here we are receiving a KA band alert and a K-band alert that Escort's AutoLearn Intelligence locked out for us automatically. And when we zoom out, we can see all of the alerts across the whole of the Motor City. There's a lot of stuff on that screen. In the name, Redline 360C, the little c stands for connected, meaning the Redline can connect to Wi-Fi to initiate things like automatic firmware updates, or if you would like to access the posted speed limits where you're driving and live alerts without turning on Bluetooth. This is a function we don't use all that often, but you might be different and you might find it useful and helpful. We have used the Wi-Fi capability in the past to do automatic firmware updates. For example, we were sitting in the cell phone lot at the airport one night waiting for family to arrive and connected to a hotspot and was able to do a firmware update that way. So it does have its uses. 
However, we prefer to do our updates manually with a hardwired connection through Escort's Detector Tools portal. And we primarily run the Drive Smarter app with a Bluetooth connection. That's our preferred method. So we don't rely on the Wi-Fi capability all that much. What we do rely on, however, are the segmentation options for the Redline 360C. Under the Band Enables tab in the Settings menu or through the Drive Smarter app, you can experiment with four different K-Narrow and 10 different KA-Narrow segmentation options to quicken the detector's response time. Turn either K or KA band detection off to activate the segmentation options. This enables the selectors, which you will also see in the Settings menu or in the Drive Smarter app. Although it seems counterintuitive, turning off KA band detection does not mean that you're leaving yourself exposed to the most common form of police radar. With escort radar detectors, this just simply means you can now work with the segmentation filters. When we deactivate the KA bands, Escort's factory default KA narrow settings take over, allowing our red line to scan from 33.7 to 35.6 gigahertz, which are segments two, five, and eight. That aligns with law enforcement radar guns, not just here in Michigan, but all properly and legally tuned US spec police radar guns. This means our red line is not watching the whole KA frequency range, only the parts where law enforcement are operating, which thereby creates a more responsive radar detector. We recommend KA segmentation regardless of which radar detector you own, provided it can do so. We will leave a little more information on segmentation in the description. Every once in a while, you'll go to a car museum and you'll see an old radar detector on display. And it always makes us smile when we see that. And we kind of have a, a little display going here for our Redline 360C. And the Redline has a good legacy or it's building a good legacy. So it's a radar detector we could see in the future being in a car museum, but that's way into the future. As far as today goes, in terms of its technical capability, the Redline 360C is as relevant as it's ever been. It's one of the best radar detectors today, no question. Since we live in a bustling area like Detroit, we can take full advantage of every feature the Redline 360C offers. And that's the thing to consider here. Do you live somewhere that would allow you to take advantage of everything we've covered in this video? For example, if we were back in rural Southwest Iowa, which is where we were living at the time Automoblog was started in 2006, the triple antenna design of the red line would give us an advantage on I-80 in terms of range detection. While the Drive Smarter app has a higher likelihood of sending us real-time alerts because I-80 is a main artery through the Hawkeye State. Back in Atlantic, however, in Cass County, a town of about 7,000 residents when we lived there, there might be less users on the Drive Smarter app and the triple antenna design, while good, might be just that. It might be too much of a good thing. We don't need all that range detection when we're driving downtown Atlantic on Main Street. So think about where you live and where you drive in order to justify the cost. If you like escort radar detectors, but you don't want to jump to the top of the mountain with the red line, take a look at the entry level Max 4. It will offer you good range detection and false alert filtering, as well as drive smarter app integration for half the cost. The Max 4 has been a pleasant surprise in our collection of radar detectors. And although we love the red line, the Max 4 has been our daily driver since it was released at the end of April 2024. We will leave a link in the description to our review of the Max 4. However, if you were sold on the Redline 360C, you will find links in the description to purchase one. As an ambassador for Escort Radar and as an Amazon associate, Automoblog earns from qualifying purchases, but those commissions come to us at no additional cost to you. Links we may earn a commission from are marked as paid in the description. In Detroit, with our Escort Redline 360C, on behalf of Automoblog, I'm Carl Anthony.